Even he couldn't believe the exit polls. <laughs> 35 seats, he shouts. By this morning, it was 37. The far-right populist who'd loomed large on the fringes, an MP for a quarter of a century, today sips champagne in Parliament. Geert Wilders' Freedom Party, or PVV, claiming a thumping victory in the Dutch general election. His victory speech replete with Trumpian turns of phrase. We'll make sure the Dutch people will be number one again. The hope is the people will get their country back. We'll make sure the Netherlands are for the Dutch again. We'll limit the asylum tsunami. Wilder's views on Islam were once deemed so dangerous by the Home Office that he was detained at Heathrow and refused entry. Today, he hopes to form a government that will secure his place here in the so-called Little Tower, the Prime Minister's office. But in Dutch politics, that's never a given, even with a win like this. Flanked by state-provided bodyguards around the clock after multiple death threats, Wilders makes for an unpalatable coalition partner. I'm not a racist. Um, the Islam is racist. The Islamic ideology, not I, makes a distinction between everything that is Islamic and is non-Islamic. I don't, they do. And I believe that the Islamic ideology and freedom are incompatible. His is a manifesto that calls for a ban on the Quran, for a closure of mosques and Islamic schools. But he's spent recent weeks trying to distance himself from those pledges, if just by admitting the Constitution won't allow them anyway. It's a move he hopes will pave the way for coalition talks. What happens now will be a very, very Dutch scene. This is like the political leaders of the parties, the biggest parties, they will come together, they will sit together, they will talk together, also behind closed doors, and they will try to find a consensus. And of course, it's very difficult to find a consensus with someone like Geert Wilders, but I think it's impossible to exclude him because his victory has been too huge. And even before it's cemented, Wilders' win bolsters nationalist anti-establishment waters churning across Europe. Far-right figures seized on his victory today. France's Marine Le Pen and Italy's Matteo Salvini declaring Europe was being remoulded from the inside. This less than a year before EU elections that will determine the bloc's policy on Ukraine and climate change. He shows that more and more countries within the European Union are contesting its functioning, and rightly so, and hope that we can once again control immigration, which is considered by many people in Europe to be both massive and totally anarchic. But while Wilders has called for Nexit, appetite for a referendum on EU membership is as yet low in this, one of the founding members. His focus will instead be securing the backing he needs in his own splintered parliament, an alphabet soup of political parties and competing interests will no longer be able to ignore him. The last government was a record 271 days in the making. This one could prove even longer.